Now, all this week, Cybos has been exploring key issues and challenges around improving in, uh, settlement efficiency in securities. Boosting settlement speeds by upgrading elements such as automation will also reduce risks and improve market efficiency, benefiting investors. But as those attending the conference have heard, that is not an easy challenge. To look at this in more detail, we can speak to Goran Fors, Deputy Head of Investor Services at SEB and a SWIFT board member to boot. Hello, Goran, and welcome to Cybos TV. Uh, if I might start by asking, well, it's been a great turnout of securities attendees here at Cybos this week and, and lots on the agenda focusing on several of the key challenges facing the securities industry at the moment. One of those hot topics has been settlement efficiency. Have you heard anything this week that gives you confidence that we can make serious reductions in settlement fails? Well, good afternoon, and uh, I'm very pleased to be with you this uh, evening at the last day of Cyprus. Uh, to get straight on to your question, uh, I think you, you, you're addressing a question that is pretty complicated, whether we have this week come uh, to a very, very good solution to, to the, these issues that you're addressing. Uh, but I know that for sure that we have a, a, a failure rate in the market, which is too high. In the just in the European area, we have some sort of a cost of sort of two, three billion US per year uh, the, that is created by failure on the settlement side. Um, this is something that has been on the agenda for a long time, and also from the regulator side, which is driven by the the CSDR regulation that's get, going to go live in February on this topic. Um, I think on a panel debate earlier this week that I hope many of you had the opportunity to watch, there were, there were three areas highlighted, and um, that is, for example, uh, preparing to, for the mand mandatory settlement discipline rules that will be in play from February. Uh, we had the, the other, which is more data sharing, which is more moving down how to make this more efficient in the transaction management platforms ensuring continued industry collaboration, which is essential in this area and has been and have obviously led to that we have a reasonably good situation compared to what it could have been 20 years ago. But also I'm very proud to, as you mentioned, I'm on the board of SWIFT, uh, which uh, I'm, I'm very pleased to be, and I'm also involved on the security strategy. I'm, and I'm very, very pleased to say that SWIFT uh, have put a lot of effort into uh, um, uh, develop this area much more and, do, and be part of getting more efficient area uh, will enable smarter securities, which is a, a name that we put on uh, products that will help in this area. So based on this, the foundational tracking of security settlement instructions that obviously will help in this uh, and make it easier to avoid settlement failures. So I think we will see during next year, hopefully, when this is being more implemented, that we'll see a, a, a lot of efforts and maybe next year when we're back at Cybos we can talk about this seeing that it has improved. Sure I mean obviously sure. reducing yeah. settlement fails and improving automation that is vital if you're going to get to T plus O but do you think T and O is something that the industry should be aiming for and what does the industry need to do collectively if it's going to hit the goal? Well, first of all, if you if we would go into this aspect, and I've been in this area long enough to remember when we had in many countries, uh, there was uh, five days, even 10 days, fortnights or so on in settlement. And we've gone to a pretty amazing T plus two in many marks and T plus one in many and T plus zero has been discussed. Uh, there are, of course, benefits of going down that route. Uh, at the same time, we have to be careful. We we will reduce the, the there will be a risk reduction, there will be market efficiency, there will be easier, better liquidity in the market if we reduce the settlement going and if we can get it back to T plus zero, that would, of, of course, be very nice. Um, at the same time, we have to be careful of when we implement this. And obviously, I think that SWIFT will play an important role in making this possible. And if we can, first of all, start with moving to T plus one, that even that would be challenging. And the problem is not that I think the markets in general, wherever you go today, you have the technology to go to T plus zero, T plus one. Definitely, you don't really need to do much. The thing is that we have a huge cross-border uh, activities where the information flow is depending on time differences. You are depending on making, uh, you're funding your accounts. You need to do FX uh, and you need to correct instructions. So I think going forward, when we now work towards a, a T plus one and T plus zero, 
I think it's. I think we can see that Swift will be able to also here work with products that can be assisting in this. The unique, uh, tra the unique transaction identifier, Goran, uh, could provide automation benefits such as tracking, as we as we see today on on the payments side. But how is that going to? Uh, uh, briefly, if you will, how is that going, and uh, and what's next? Well, in general, to be able to work with efficiency and make it, it's it's pretty important that we have a, a UTI, UTI or a unique transaction identifier, as you say, because this is something which makes it possible to to uh, aggregate information about the trade. Uh, we, we can also, in that way, be able to follow the trades. You, you can also work on it and make sure that it is efficiently handled. So it's the UTI and what we're working on in this area is crucial for us moving forward. And with the, with the products that will be launched over the next few years on this area, that the UTI is a, a big part and the pilot will hopefully will start running uh, as we speak. OK, so lots to look forward to, but sadly we have to leave it there. But Goran Falls, Deputy Head of Investor Services at SEB and also a SWIFT board member, thank you so much for joining us on Cybos TV.